In a small village in the mountains of South Korea, a mysterious infection breaks out, causing people to go insane and kill each other. Sounds like a fun weekend. That's the basic template for 2016's The Wailing, and this is a review of it. The reason I'm talking about The Wailing today is because superstar Patreon supporter Gregory Coburn is an unobtainium member over there at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. At that top level, you get to request movies for me to review, and I have no choice. Which is why I sat through a two and a half hour movie thinking it was gonna be a chore. I was wrong. In fact, The Wailing is one of the best horror films I've seen in quite a long time. The movie primarily revolves around a police officer in the small little village and the relationship with his daughter. I'm not gonna bother trying to say their names because I don't know how to pronounce them. I try Googling it, I just can't do it. I sound like an idiot. So out of respect for these people, I'm just gonna say their professions and describe them. <laughs> On the outskirts of this village, which is over here somewhere, there's a mysterious Japanese man. That's literally what they call him throughout the film and what he's referred to as on IMDb. He's a man of few words and less means, as he appears to be living in a shitty little shack right in the forest there. Nobody really goes up. And there's a lot of bad stuff that seem to be surrounding wherever he's at, which makes him public enemy number one for this police officer. As the movie carries on, more and more bodies start to pile up. People are getting these rashes. They're going crazy. They're coming down with the sickness. Ooh, ah, ah. I could never do that. It's one of the many things I can't do well. Truly one of my biggest regrets is not practicing Disturb's masterpiece down with the sickness more. I mentioned the daughter being a key figure in this and the acting by this little girl is damn good. It, she is selling the hell out of this film, especially later when she herself is raptured by whatever this thing is that's taken hold. I do not want to spoil this movie, even though it's a few years old. I encourage everyone to check it out. Put the time in, it's absolutely worth it. It is a foreign film, so if English is your only language like mine, I would definitely turn subtitles on. Get the good experience. Don't listen to that garbage dubbing version that they probably have. Just read. It's okay. This thing's a visual splendor too, so you could even avoid the words for the most part if that's just too much for you. And just, wow, just get amazed by the lovely looking visuals. I thought this was the director of Parasite and the Host. I was wrong, it's not. I'm not familiar with this director, but it has that similar vibe and feel and look to it. Very beautiful. The main score is somber, it's haunting, it's subdued. I didn't notice it much. There isn't a, like a powerful, musical score in this one. It just kind of stays in the background, minds its own business. And this film goes the psychological angle that I really like. Not only does it have some kind of creepy moments, I wouldn't say it's a scary film, it's just a very intriguing movie. It makes you think, it gets in your head. And there's this supernatural aspect, and then there's also the detective aspect, trying to solve this and figure out who's behind it all. And so as it's going, I'm just thinking, wait, is this person lying? Is this person telling the truth? Is it a supernatural entity or is it just a person that's crazy? Is it a disease? What is going on in this? And thankfully it has a very good resolution at the end. There is payoff and you feel satisfied. And yes, there is plenty of wailing going on because while these people are inflicted, their bodies like contorting and, and their veins are popping out and they're feeling all sorts of pain and anguish. It's just miserable. And again, the performances, not only from the girl, but everyone involved really sell it. And hopefully I sold you on checking this out. The Wailing 2016, absolutely worth your time. There is a version on Amazon Prime, I believe, you can watch free with ads or some crap. There are other ways to watch it as well. We'll keep those down low though. But if you know how to Google, you can probably find it in a different manner. I wanna thank Patreon supporter Gregory Coburn once again. Unobtainium membership, beautiful. You gotta love it. You can also do this on YouTube via the join button. There's different tiers to support the channel at. I am a one man show. I have a full-time job, I have a family, so this is a passion for me, it's a hobby, and it takes a ton of work. It really does. So any support you can give, there's, there's a $1 tier. But do what you can. If that means just sharing the video around, throwing a like on there, I appreciate that as well. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.